pop that sucker open. Alright, gimme, gimme, gimme. You can stay. You're coming along, you're coming along, all you guys are coming along. Adjustable wrench, why not? A couple of stim packs. Gotta bust open into this. That's it. I believe this yes. little room here has some really. Oh, yeah, right. A whole bunch of ammo. This is the armory and a fat man, uh, but that's gonna make me too heavy. Actually, I think I can take it on. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, fusion cells. Yeah, we're getting close. This I'm gonna leave behind and leave the 10 mil behind. Okay, down we go. Lights off. Walk. This room here, right next to the armory, is where the U.S. Covert Operations Manual is. It's right, boom, there. All right. So don't forget that. Hello, my little U.S. Covert Operations Manual. How you doing today? I'm doing fine, Slack. Nice. Yeah. So that's number seven. We are permanently, permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking times seven. I mean, not literally, but by the, you know, amount that each one increases. Okay, so... Hey, do it again. Stop that, Mr. Fumblefingers. <laughs> Giving away my stuff here. You're supposed to take stuff out. Not put it in. Okay, so we can leave that. Down you go. Walk, don't run. Okay, and I just want to do a quick save here, just in case the game glitches out on me. There's a known glitch with Kellogg. What happens is the, uh, he invites you to, well, actually I shouldn't say. You'll see. Slack is remembering to get his sneak on. How about that, boys and girls? Flawless. <laughs> Instead of wandering around with the flashlight on. How come I'm not sneaking too good? What the hell's going on here? The game's glitched. It's glitched, I tell you. Okay, I knew it, I knew it, so I'm now officially too fat to fuck. Okay, so, just give me a moment, I'm gonna dump off uh, some stuff, I'm too heavy. That'll work. Okay, now the game is just giving me the objective to kill Kellogg. I hope it didn't glitch out on me, we'll see what happens. Got it. Okay, you made it. 
I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Okay, this is the part that may glitch out. Put away your weapon as soon as you see him, hear him say that. And let me just do a quick save, just in case they go hostile. And you should be able to just walk right in and talk to him, no problem. Hostile sensor reading detected. Yeah, see, the game's glitching out. Yeah, okay, so... Game's glitching out, so we're just gonna have to kill him. You should be able to walk right in. I was in error. No enemy detected. That's a bummer, so I don't get to show you the the whole dialogue with uh Kellogg. Okay, so it's game on. Kill Kellogg. Kellogg is a slick, tough son of a bitch. Let's see what's going on here. We have everything happening. Okay, so walk softly, carry a big stick. Etc. There's Kellogg right there. Great. Actually, let me just switch over to my uh, Overseer's Guardian. Cranking a couple of headshots. And I'm going to do that and use up my crit. See what happens. Here we go. Got him. Great. One shot. Great. Excellent. That's what I was hoping. Hi, guy. Your boss is dead. Just give it up. Who else? Come to Papa. Well, that's too bad there, Kellogg. I wanted to have a nice little chat with you. But, uh... The game wouldn't let me. Okay, let's go get your goodies. And you got a lot of them. Grab everything, most particularly this thing here. Okay, that's the most important thing. And you get another unique pistol. Kellogg's pistol refills your action points on a critical hit. This would be great for anybody with a luck build. This would be just perfect. A luck gunslinger build. All this tech. You were barely human. So take your ammo. Take your ammo. Who else has got some ammo? Who's going to give it up? Yeah, why not? And uh, b b b b leave that behind. Wait a minute, that looks like a bobby pin box. Grab you guys. What's that for? Slack? Like, I don't know actually. <laughs> I think it's just junk. Take the recorder. Grab you guys and then interact. Oh yeah, there's this there we Robco go. Fun mag here. And let me just take a quick look around. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, finally, you have to go into Kellogg's terminal. And you'll have two options, view access logs and security door control. Do both of them. Do view access logs first. That's very important. Completes the objective. Search for more information. So there we go. The sordid details about Kellogg and our son, Sean. You get all that? This is gonna be a pop quiz tomorrow. Okay, so let's open the doors. Let's take the shortcut out. Doors open. And there we go.
Wait a minute, I want that. Okay, we're good. And take the wonder glue, take the extinguisher, and take the elevator, and we are out of here. Going up. Okay, same deal here. Open door. And why not? Let's uh, turn out the turrets. I love the attention to detail in these terminals. You know, they have these little, you know, help screens about your turret control firmware etc is like you know okay so these turrets should be friendly now and we're good but we won't be able to oh yeah there's something else too check it out people of the commonwealth what do not interfere <laughs> So we got a new mission. Investigate the Brotherhood of Steel airship. That sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. So we're definitely tabling that for a later date. For now, uh, we won't be able to fast travel up here. So we have to get down a little bit. Hi, Mr. Friendly Turret. Haha, uh -huh. can't touch this. Can I make it down there without killing myself? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Here we go. Okay, so our new objective is discuss your findings with Nick. So let's go do that now. Alright, here we are in Diamond City Market. And what happened? I'm carrying too much. Oh yeah, my cycle wore off. My cycle buff which actually gives me a big boost to my strength which will allow me to carry more let's just take some more what the hell fucking cow huh? <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> just having another hit i'm a bit of an addict come on nikki i'm just asking for your opinion would be a great quote He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. 
man like that would have had access, in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Well, to his credit, he did invite us in, but the game glitched out and shit got kinda out of hand. Had to shoot him. Sorry. He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. No, we're a lone wolf. We'll meet you there, okay, Nick? I'll head there on my own. All right. Yeah. Like, See you at the what den. Is it? Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Well, who, General? You got yourself a date. Not only that, but she's willing to be your <coughs> companion. I can actually see if you see through her dress here. What are you doing, Slack? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> this curiosity, I just think I'm not, not that much of a ledge. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we're done here. We're done here. Let's grab this death fan. I'm going to call it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And uh, if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please. Give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass Fallout 4 real walkthrough videos. All right, that's it. Slack is out.